let me show you a neat shortcut. If you ever wound up with x plus 1 squared or x plus 2 squared, well, I'm going to show this once, the drawn out version. Then I'll show you a shortcut for it. x times x is x squared. Right? x times 1 is 1x. One, 1 times x is 1x. One, 1 times 1 is 1 x squared plus 2x plus 1. Let's try it again. Drawn out version. x times x is x squared. x times 2 is a 2x. 2 times x is 2x. 2 times 2 is a 4. Those guys go together. x squared plus 4x plus 4. So, I don't know if you see a pattern. Do you notice how that's always going to be the same number there. A 1x and a 1x. A 2x and a 2x. See, that's always going to be the same right there. So you can find that middle term by simply doubling that number. Double 1, you get 2. Double 2, you get 4. If you had x plus 3 squared, you can automatically say x squared, and you can automatically say 6x. The last term, the number out here, well, look at this. 1 times 1, 1. 2 times 2, 4. What's going to happen with this? It'll be 3 times 3, which is 9. So we can do these really quickly now. It's pretty neat. So let's do these real quick then. Let's automatically x squared, double it, square it. Let's automatically x squared. You double it, you square it. It's automatically x squared, you double it, you square it. It's automatically x squared, you double it, and you square it. Now you might think, well, what if that's a negative? What happens then? I got you covered, brother. Look here. It's automatically x squared, you double it. Well, what's negative 8 and negative 8 is a negative 16x. If that's a negative, that's a negative there. If you square any negative if you square any negative number, it's automatically positive. Right? So that guy's always gonna be a positive number out here. Always a positive number out there. This guy could be negative. So it's automatically x squared, negative 18, that's what nine nine uh, double nine is, and nine squared, eighty-one, plus eighty-one. Automatically x squared. Double it, square it. Pretty neat shortcut.